Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Um, I just got my new computer recently, and there should be a lot more video tutorials coming out. Um, this next one being about um, CTRs. If you don't know what a CTR is, it is a custom tracked ride, basically. It's just like a custom scenery set, um, except kind of like for roller coasters. Uh, it's basically just a roller coaster someone made. Um, it can be a different kind of roller coaster that you know is not featured in the game. Um, or just something like a better looking version of the ones that are already in the game. So I'll go ahead and tell you, show you how to install these into the game correctly, and uh, I'll try to do it as quickly as possible. So we're going to go ahead and start. Um, first of all, you need a CTR downloaded. Um, I would Google it. I'm using the inverted uh, revamp set from, I think I believe the name was Krokotoa or something like that. Um, it's a really cool set. It definitely makes the inverted roller coaster look a lot better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put that in. Um, most track rides um, work the exact same way. So uh, I'm first going to open up my inverted um, the file for the CTR. Now mine has a WinRAR thing. Yours might have a folder. It might have a zip. You know, and all you have to do is just open it up. Okay. And um, most of the time you get this README, um, and this will show you how to um, install it. Sometimes it's different for other um, things, um, but I already know how to install this, and I'll just go ahead and do it. This is the pretty basic way of how to install. So it works a lot, uh, the, a lot um, similar to the custom scenery. Um, you just go to your start menu, go up to your computer, click on your hard disk drive, your program files. Once again, mine says times 86 for some reason. But you go to your program files, and you're going to see Atari. Double click that. And then double click Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum. Now, there's two places you have to extract um, folders in. The first one is Cars, so we'll go ahead and double click that. And then Track Ride Cars. Okay, and this is where you're going to put your first um, file in. Now, once again, um, just open up this here. I have to put, let's see, let's read the README, see what it says. It's going to extract and then open. All right, in the README file I have, it says CTR invert must be placed into track ride cars. So I'm going to just put that folder in the track ride cars folder, which is what we're in right now. So CTR invert. I'm going to go ahead and copy and then click on this window and paste. And I, I'm pretty sure it did not do it that time. Oh, I see what it's doing. I'm pressing pressing Control V, but it's not wanting to be friendly, so I'll just drag it. All right, let's see if we have it. CTR invert is now in there. So now we got to back out, and now next we're going to go to, scroll down a little bit, go to Tracks, double click that, and then you're going to see Track Rides, double click that, and you're going to get a bunch of um, things once again. It's going to look a lot the same as the other um, the other folder. And now we're just going to extract this other file. Invert track. My computer will stop trying to get me to extract it into a different folder than what I want. Sometimes you need to provide administrator and all that good, good stuff. Alright, and 
that should be it. So we'll go ahead and close out here. I want to go back to cars real quick and just check, make sure I put the correct folder in. I'm getting a weird vibe that I did not do so. I don't know why. Invert. Okay, so it's good. Alright, and after you do so, just enter your game and it should um, be in there. Uh, I have not, uh, well, I've had a, a couple problems with CTR. Sometimes CTRs just simply don't work. But I'll tell you, this invert one does. And there's also another one, the CTR revamp set. Uh, it's just like a big group of um, coaster cars that are already in the game that have been redone, redesigned, and they look so much better, so much more realistic. So, uh, I'm sorry once again about this auto screen recorder being a little weird, but, um,. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I hope that I was able to describe it in a little bit of a better way than um, some other people. I know a voice tutorial is much easier to follow than just like a slideshow. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any other tutorials that you would like me to make, um, just please comment or personal message me. Uh, I will try to make it as quickly as possible. Um, however, I am in school, so I can't promise anything. Um, so subscribe if you'd like. Um, comment and rate. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.